Hi again folks, I just did a test fit with the dry pipe here and the throttle rod connected and the throttle being supported. This is one thing I was curious about is how sturdy is the throttle there when it's just supported in space by the dry pipe. And it's very sturdy, not a problem. I had um, assembled this and marked the dry pipe, cut it and threaded it. Um, and then here's the throttle rod in actuation. I'm just moving it back and forth by my hand. And um, I haven't obviously haven't cut the throttle rod yet. But this, um, when I was test fitting, I thought, well, as long as the throttle sits uh, clear in the opening, I'm fine. And I wanted to leave room to get a wrench down here, of course, wrenches to tighten everything up on the front. And I can reach back there and get a 3 8 inch wrench on the lock nut for the throttle rod. What I didn't realize, and I'll point this out for other first time builders, is that the actual the steam dome itself it sits inside the um, inside the, the flange gasket there so in other words just because it the uh, item sits in the hole doesn't mean that the caps gonna go back on again so as you can see the throttle needs to come forward at least an eighth or a quarter of an inch so that uh, the cap will fit on there fine so again not a major deal but I'm gonna have to take it apart take it out and shorten the rod just a little bit, thread it another quarter of an inch so that to move the entire assembly forward a little bit. And it shouldn't be any material issue doing that. Um, here's the show you. I've, I've got this this uh, the collar and steam nose all tightened up. So and every, like I said, everything's sturdy. So I'm very happy about that. Just have to move it forward a little bit, shorten the pipe just a teeny bit. And then when I get that done, then I'll come back and cut and shorten the throttle rod itself back here. So there's tonight's update, just a little intermediate fitting, and I will keep you posted as we make progress. Thanks for watching.